Islam, Salam, Hola, Aloha, Bonjour, Assalamu Alaikum, Osio. This is your brother Zach Bay, Indigenous American Moor, coming to you live in full effect. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell down below so you can be notified whenever I'm dropping new content. Leave a comment and interact with me. Thank you. I really do appreciate your viewership. Let's jump into another one. Well, I'm back again with part two as requested of City of Rage. Still working on this AI stuff, you know, um, sharpening my skills. So hopefully you enjoy the story. Leave a comment. Let me know how you like it. Um, you know, interact with me. All right, let's jump into another one. So we're continuing with Zai's adventures and his team on their first mission, the infiltration of the tower. All right, so picking off where we left off on part one, let's jump back into it. Hopefully you can hear it. Hopefully everything's visible. I'm gonna also uh, try to add some images for you all too. As they reached the tower summit, an eerie silence greeted them, broken only by distant thunder. The masked figure stood at the heart of a swirling maelstrom, his intentions as opaque as his guise. Zai's eyes fluttered closed, the battle drawing him into a deeper plane where lightning crackled and danced to his will. His teammates, trusting the cycle, moved with coordinated grace around him. Selene's flames warded off dark tendrils, Morgan's touch dismantled barriers, and Alara became the phantom of his protective shadow. Together, they wove a tapestry of magic and might, poised to unravel their foe's sinister designs. In the dream world, Zai's senses sharpened, as if the universe unfolded before him with crystalline clarity. The masked figure's power thrummed like a storm, each movement a calculated threat among the chaotic energy. Yet with every strike, Zai's lightning countered, a brilliant dance between destruction and salvation. As his teammates battled below, their real, world struggles echoed within Zai's dreams. The figure's mask slipped slightly, revealing not just a villain, but a tormented soul bound by fear and ambition. Perhaps redemption lay within reach, if Zai awakened understanding alongside his formidable power. The threshold of destiny loomed ever closer. As Zai delved deeper, his lightning casting fleeting glimpses of truth, he realized the enemy's torment mirrored his own, a desperate struggle against a power neither wished for nor controlled. In that shared pain, an opportunity blossomed, as Selene's fire encircled the spectral foe and Morgan turned defenses to dissolving metal, Alara's quiet voice proposed a chance for peace. Together, they reached out, bridging dreams and reality. The adversary hesitated, caught between rage and the offered light of understanding. In that fragile instant, Zai's power transcended dreams, igniting a spark of hope that could reshape not just a battle, but a destiny untold. In that moment of vulnerability, Zai felt an unfamiliar warmth ripple through his veins, a bond not just with his companions but with the former adversary, now an ally in transformation. The masked figure, eyes unveiled, lowered his guard, releasing a tremulous breath that dispelled the storm's fury. Together, they stood at the tower's edge, a tableau of redemption silhouetted against the first light of dawn. Selene, Morgan, and Alara gathered near, their bond solidified by shared trials. As dawn painted the horizon in hues of new beginnings, Zai realized that his journey had only just begun, one not marked by solitary dreams but united by kinship and a shared vision for Arcadia's future. With the dawn came clarity, and Zai found himself truly awake in a way he had never been before. The tower, once a beacon of menace, now symbolized hope and transformation. The masked figure, who introduced himself as Kale, joined their ranks, his ambition tempered by newfound camaraderie. As they descended, 
The city below thrummed with the promise of change, stirred by whispers of a team unlike any other. The guide's words resonated within Zai, urging him to embrace not just his powers but also his place alongside those who dared to dream, reshape, and protect the fragile peace they had forged. Together, they would confront the shadows of Arcadia, rekindling its spirit with light. Returning to the tavern, now their unofficial haven, the room hummed with a sense of purpose. Each member of their team, once solitary and burdened by their powers, found solace in shared experiences and collective goals. Zai, no longer bound by the limitations of unconscious heroism, joined in the strategy and planning with newfound vigor. Kale, grateful for the chance to atone, revealed intel on factions lurking within Arcadia's underbelly, eager to exploit unchecked power. As laughter and ideas intermingled, an urgent missive arrivated an invitation to a council of leaders desperate for aid. Together, the team prepared to face an undeniable truth, their journey was merely the beginning of a complex tapestry woven by destiny's hand. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That was part two of City of Rage. The adventure of Zai and his team. Let me know how you like it. Like, share, subscribe. Leave some feedback, comment. This is your brother Zach Bay. Peace.